Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Neha. So today it is day 6 of our 21 days yoga challenge. So today let us observe our body while practicing. Your priority should not be asana but your breath as well as on your focus. Because if you don't have focus, if you don't have a right breath, if you don't have a control over the breath, then asana will not be really helpful. So let us see how to practice your each asana along with your breath as well as focus. Before we start, I want you to subscribe my channel and click a bell icon right next to it. Alright, so let's get started. Before we start, so let's just gather all our attention to our breath as well as get your focus on your whole body. So how do we do that? Sit in a very comfortable posture. Close your eyes. <coughs> Keep your shoulders completely relaxed. Slow down your breath. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. A deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Do not worry about any practice, any asana. Just try to get yourself relaxed and calm. It's very important that you need to keep your mind relaxed and body relaxed before you start. Now gently open your eyes. Take your entire focus on your spine as you're sitting on the floor in Vajrasana. Take your moment, take a focus to your lower back, from lower back to the whole spine. Along with your focus, lift your both the hands up straight, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, get your both the elbows together, drop your palm down right in front of your face and drop it down. Inhale, get your both the hands up straight once again, lengthen your spine, look up, exhale, elbows together, observe your shoulders, get your palm right in front of your face and drop it down. One more time, inhale, take your both the hands up straight, exhale and drop it down. Gently roll your shoulders back and down, back and down, back and down. The other side, roll your shoulders, observe your whole upper back moving along with your shoulder. Now move your shoulder to the, to the opposite direction like you move your left shoulder forward push your right shoulder back inhale look at your left shoulder and exhale the other side inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale move your neck to the right to the left to the right to the left, come to center down and up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, stay here for one or two breath, inhale and exhale, observe kind of a heaviness and a good stretch in your back, inhale and exhale. Now slowly turn and lie down on the stomach. Okay, now get your both the hands next to the chest. Now palm next to the chest, elbow inside, both the toes pointing back. Now as you inhale, you're going to lift your chest up and you're going to lift only your right leg up. Make sure your left leg is completely relaxed on the floor and you're going to put all the effort on your right leg. Keep your stomach slightly engaged. Now inhale, lift your chest up and as far as possible, try to lift your right leg up and exhale down. We're going to repeat the same thing, the right side, inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up, I'm going to hold, you can feel the stretch from your upper back to down as well as which moves towards your lower body. 
थ्री टू वन स्लोली ड्रॉप इट डाउन नाउ जस्ट अब्सर्व योर राइट लेग यू कैन फील द डिफरेंस क्लियर डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ द लेग्स नाउ सेम थिंग गोज द अदर वे राउंड इन हेल लेफ्ट लेग अप टू पॉइंटिंग आउट एंड एक्सहेल डाउन इनहेल अप exhale down one more inhale up you're going to hold 5 4 3 2 to make sure you have to hold your spine slightly engaged one down now both the legs off the mat inhale up breathe in breathe out this asana looks very simple but if you are holding here right now you can feel your whole spine being engaged 3 2 1 drop it down slowly come to bhujangasan come to parvata now get your left leg in between both the palm from here straight away we're going to move to warrior 2 so left leg is in the front right hand goes up first front leg will be 90 degree now your right foot facing out right hand next to the shoulder left hand next to the shoulder bend your right knee forward <sighs> look at the left side breathe in breathe out keep your back knee tucked in front knee sharp 90 degree if you have a knee pain make sure that you keep your knee slightly relaxed you don't have to push your knee forward now bend your left hand back extend your right hand up and push your hand to the side open up your chest to the sky or the ceiling if you're practicing indoor hold 3 Two, one. Exhale. Come to center. Take your right hand back. Left hand goes up. Give a stretch. Bend how much ever you can without bending your back knee. Hold three, two. Keep breathing long. One. Come to center. Both the hands on the waist. Relax your knee. Now left hand goes forward. see if you can hold your ankle if you can hold your knee if you think this is your flexibility that's fine if you can go down down how much ever is your capacity hold your ankle now just open up your chest with all the balance hand up straight hold 3 2 one hand on the waist turn down bend your knee turn your chest to center back leg will be off the mat back heel will be off the mat come on your toe now from here drop your hands down be here back leg on your toe front leg your knee and ankle in a straight line drop your right hand completely on the floor open up your chest do not move your knee keep your knee as it is just open up your hand give a twist look at the palm if you're losing balance look down sometimes if you're looking up you might not have a very good balance just hold 3 2 and 1 drop your palm down just drop your knee then and there okay so just be relaxed inhale slowly come to center don't move your front knee or the back leg try to be relaxed have a very good balance over here lift your both the hands up straight and exhale hold focus keep your stomach slightly engaged focus on your spine as well as your thigh hold 3 2 long breathe in long breathe out one slowly palm down lift your toe up be comfortable both the hands on the knee get your leg forward 
Now get the another leg back. Same thing we are going to practice the other side. Now we are going to start with warrior 2. Back leg facing out, front leg facing forward and you need to bend your knee 90 degree. Left hand goes back first, right hand to center. Now warrior 2, look at the right palm. Breathe in, breathe out. As I mentioned before, if you have a knee pain, keep your knee slightly relaxed. Now bend your left hand back, right hand. Stretch. Three, two, one. Center. Bend your right hand. Left hand goes front. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to center. Now hold your front knee. Sorry, the ankle. Now straighten your knee. See if you are able to stay here or here or if you think it is very difficult for you to have this long distance then keep the distance lesser between both the legs for this posture. Now hold your ankle, keep your elbow straight, just lift your other hand up. If you look up you might lose the balance, if you don't want to lose the balance, if you think you are comfortable here, just stay here. Three, make sure your focus should be on your breath as well as the body part where you are feeling the stretch right now. So I can feel a good stretch here. So just keep focusing on the stretch and keep breathing longer. Now drop your palm down, bend your knee, palm down. Get your heel off the mat. Drop your left palm completely down. Do not move your right knee. Lift your hand up straight. Give a mild twist, hold three, back knee should be tucked in, breathe in, breathe out, two, one, drop your palm down, drop your knee down, don't have to really push your knee forward, have the balance, come to center. With the breathe in, lift your both the hands up straight. Three, two, one. Drop your palm down. Take your leg back to full plank. Slowly drop your knee down. Lie down on the stomach. Toe pointing out. Elbow inside. Lift your both the thighs off the mat. Inhale, lift your chest up. Keep a long breathe in, long breathe out. Now tighten your thigh. Lift yourself a little more up if you can. Hold it. Three, two, one. Slowly drop your forehead down. Lift your chest up. Come to child posture. Alright, so it was a very, I think it was a very peaceful practice. You will feel a little on your lower body. As I always mention in my videos, if you want to make it more intense, you can stay longer. You can also repeat it two to three times. You can make it like a, a good long uh, practice. You can also add few Surya Namaskara before that. I always do my warm up before I do the video. I expect the same thing from you as well. Do a very simple warm up, hands rotation, neck rotation and complete your uh, practice along with Shavasana or Pranayama or meditation, whatever makes you feel better. All right. So keep practicing. If you have any doubts, you can write it in the comment box below. We will surely reply for that. So we will see you tomorrow, same time. Thank you.